Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're going to be doing another scraped painting, similar to what you would see with Gerard Richter. I had a lot of fun doing the last painting where it was all yellow and brown. Maybe I'll put a picture of it right here. Uh, so if you want to watch that video after this, go go ahead and do that if you haven't done so. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of liked challenging myself to do colors I don't normally do. So today what we're going to be doing is an all blue scraped painting. Although it's kind of, I guess, blue green because that's what this color is here. Uh, but uh, basically it's, it's going to be pretty much all blue. Uh, so we've got a bright aqua, we've got light blue, cerulean, turquoise, and then another light blue from another company. So I've got Artist Loft and Liquitex. Um, and because they're kind of like, they're both light blue, but they have like different shades to them. You can kind of see the difference here. Well, uh, looks like the local text is a little darker. Um, that's good because what that means is we are going to be able to get a little bit different out of it. All right, so we're going to move these aside here. And uh, maybe I'll tilt these so you can see them. But we're going to go in that order. And we're going to be using our trusty uh, paint shield today to do the actual scraping. Um, and I've got a 12 inch canvas panel here and I, I really have been enjoying uh, doing these paintings on the canvas panel because of that flat surface. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to paint our background the uh, aqua because I mean, I, the aqua is kind of like more of a, I would say it's more of a green than a blue. Um, but you know, it's got the, the blue in it. So we're going to go ahead and use this as our, our background so that when we, you know, do our scrape, we have a background here. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to really kind of just stretch this paint to the edges. got our nice um, background here on the camera it actually looks uh, nicer than I think it looks in, in real life but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started here so we're going to go ahead and put our paints right on the canvas because um, the paint shield doesn't really have a lot of um, you know it doesn't have a lot of surface area and actually now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'll do a video about the different tools I use for scraping because they all kind of have different effects and, and you can kind of use them different ways and stuff. So uh, maybe I'll do that. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this to the edge and we're going to scrape this out and see what kind of look we get. I'm going to put it right on the edge. We're going to bring this across. Now, I don't, I don't want to scrape too much because... Oh, it looks like it's getting caught on this little screw that I have in the table. So I'm going to pull this up. And I don't want to scrape it too hard because it's going to scrape off that initial layer. Oh, if I go up more, then I run into these little paints of, cans of paint that I've got up here. You know, I just can't win, can I? Every video, it's only something. But you know what? It's a good uh, it's a good metaphor for life because you, you think you've got everything planned out and, and something else happens. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull this paint out and you can see it didn't didn't really go very far um, and again you can see that on the paint shield we kind of have a nice collection of paint I say nice but I'm kind of disappointed that's there um, but that's just kind of the nature of using different tools to to kind of make these paintings um, and of course I don't know how a stick got in there but it did affect the painting a little bit that's okay so we're gonna go ahead and what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and rotate this bad boy here. And I'm gonna screw this in a little bit to kind of push it down a little. Had to put some screws in my table to get the pieces to stay where they are. And let's actually rotate it. And instead of going side to side, I'm actually gonna go downward with the next scrape. So let's go ahead and put on our cerulean blue here. Oh, I guess I haven't used that one because it's still got the tab in it. Pop that little bad boy out. 
put it back. And we will go ahead and put a nice thick layer across the top. Perfect. Now we'll take our paint shield and we're going to go over the lip and we're going to bring it down and just casually glide it across our painting here. And I'm going to tilt it almost all the way down at the end just to kind of get any excess paint off that I can. And you can see that it is scraping down to the canvas layer. It's a little bit unfortunate, but with this tool being, you know, metal and it and almost has this razor edge, that's going to happen. It's one of the effects of the tools. Um, but we're going to rotate it and we're going to go downward again. But by rotating it, it'll give us kind of a, it'll pull the paint a different way. Now, I think this is one of the reasons that Gerard Richter uses um, plexiglass on his scrapes because he doesn't scrape into the canvas. Although he does sometimes, you know, kind of scrape away the paint with like a, a tool. So we're going to tilt it a little more instead of, you know, scraping so angled. We're going to go almost flat and see if we can kind of get little bit better scrape here. Okay, so we're still kind of getting the same thing where the metal edge is scraping the edge. Uh, this is a little unfortunate, to be honest. So I didn't want to have to do it, but I think I'm going to pull out the, the big scraper. Got to go get it. All right, guys, I've got it. Got it here. I've got the big boy here. All right, this is my homemade plexiglass scraper with uh, you know, professional wooden handles. We're gonna put this bad boy aside. It's, uh, it's doing a little too much. I like the paint shield as a tool, but the problem is this right here. So give me a second. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So you can see over here on the edges, you can see the white of the canvas showing because it's it's scraping too much. Now that's because the, the tool is very thin and it's got a middle edge to it that is going to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this again and oh actually we're gonna leave it because I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way with the next layer. Um, so we kind of wanna go against the grain. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our last um, little bit of paint on here. And what it, what's nice about the plexiglass and, and why I think that it works so well for scrape paintings is because the plexiglass, there's a couple of things going on with it that's, that's really like nice, okay? With the plexiglass, uh, first off, you don't have that sharp edge like we just had on that paint shield, right? So you're pulling with the back uh, half third of the plexiglass. Two, you have a large surface area of material that is pulling that paint along. So instead of just the edge of the tool, like the paint shield, you have a lot more of this that's pulling that paint along. So it's it's really kind of pushing it into your painting as it pulls it along. Um, lastly, because it's bending, because it's you know angled instead of flat, you get more surface area to pull the paint. So it's not just a rough kind of edge. It's not the edge of the tool that's pulling the paint. So let's go ahead and we're going to bend this bad boy and we're going to just start kind of um, pulling it through the painting. And I apologize, I need to go on the side of this camera to really get this uh, done here. So we're going to we're going to kind of bend the back half, right? And we're going to pull this through, okay? So actually applying pressure to the back of it, and we're just gonna pull these paints all the way through. Okay, and 
that's it. So <laughs> the paint shield looks pretty cool. I'm gonna show it to you guys. You can see like how much paint we actually pulled off of it, which is nice because the reduction, um, oh, sorry guys. Uh, the reduction in the paint also kind of adds to the effect. Now on camera right now, you don't see a lot of the different layers, but I'm gonna show you guys. So ultimately, this is the final piece. Now you can kind of see if we get a little bit closer that there is a gradient here. You can see that there's kind of the green and then these packets of blue. Um, and there's these little gouges in here. Now, normally the gouges kind of bother me, but to be honest with you, I kind of like it because it gives it a little bit of character to the painting, right? The gouges kind of pull those layers off. So it's a subtraction. So it, it actually gives it a little bit of character. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I guess it depends on the painting. Um, so unfortunately, you can see a lot of the canvas layer right there, right in that bottom, like top left and, and down here, um, and even right there. Now, on a normal painting, I would be okay with it. I do like it on this one. This one's okay. Um, there's too much of the kind of turquoise color coming through or teal or aqua marine or whatever the first color is that we used. Um, so it's very muted. This painting is very muted. If we had used very vibrant, very contrasted colors, you would see a lot more of those differences in here. Um, ultimately, the plexiglass is my favorite tool to use. And again, I might do a video where I talk about the different tools I use for scraping and, and what I like about them and what I don't. Um, but ultimately, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, overall, it's okay. Um, I don't you know, it, I do like kind of some of these little areas, like with the stacking of the layers and the difference in the colors. But overall, using colors of similar hue obviously kind of mutes them because they blend together too much. So it is what it is. And I kind of knew that going in. And I think that it's OK. But ultimately, the, the thing to, I guess, to take away from this is plexiglass scraper is my favorite thing to use for scrape paintings. And... Um, it just works really well. That's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless and see you then. Bye.